Again, Judea is still this crucial place where Jewish kids can go and say, hey, you can change the world. In some ways, that was, that's one of the most formative Jewish experiences I've ever had. We were told when we were in high school kids, uh, you have to go out and, and make a difference, and people took it seriously. The first couple of years was simply getting our arms around the organization, learning what the reality of the situation was. How do we do so in such a way that expands on the greatness of Young Judea's history and values and traditions, and at the same time takes a look at the new opportunities that play an even more important role. Informal education is delivered in a different way in the 21st century than it was in the 20th century. So has that same DNA that it's always had, and yet you know, we're looking forward in all of our programs. We're really, really now ready to go to this incredibly new and exciting place of growth, expansion, innovation, but still rooted in the traditions and the values of Young Judea. It would have been laughable to think that Young Judea was going to move its headquarters in Israel to Tel Aviv for your course. Back then, young Judeans looked at Tel Aviv as Sodom and Gomorrah. It was this horrible, non-ideological place that you know, young Judeans wouldn't set foot in. Jerusalem was, of course, where you wanted to be. Tel Aviv today is really the beating heart of the modern Jewish state. Everything from music and art and culture overall and technology. It's just an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. I feel like there's nothing better than being able to come here and live in Israel, specifically in Tel Aviv. It has also taught me skills that I know I will take to college with me. We're already seeing with the new group in this new building, the sense of community that they're building and the way that they talk about the building as home. The fact that there's a significant amount of time in Israel's cultural capital, close to the high-tech revolution of Israel, there's an enormous amount of um, fun and exciting, stimulating events, but there's also real hard social work that needs to be done that young Judeans can make a contribution to. Ultimately, it represents a lot of the different facets of Israel. It's kind of a microcosm built into one. In Tel Aviv, people can work with women's issues, with refugees, with the elderly, Holocaust survivors. During my volunteer time, I'm really looking forward to volunteering with Magain David Adom. When I go back to college, I'm going to nursing school. It's just going to like skyrocket me into my career and um, into college, so I'm so excited. I get to work with a lot of interesting and very intelligent people. Every single day, I'm learning something new. You know, I think the spirit of TY is very much the same. I think the, the mission we talk about, those five pillars of Young Judea, those have not changed. But the kids and the world they live in has changed. It's harder and harder to imagine a world where teenagers are just spending their whole summer at camp, unfortunately. I think eight weeks is challenging for a variety of reasons. In the summer of 2018, at Tel Yehuda, students will have the first session, the same kind of classic month-long TY experience that we know and love. And then in the second half of the summer, campers will have an opportunity to participate in two week long special interest programming at camps. So this new format for second session also allows us to build some great partnerships. We have an opportunity to bring some of them to work with our teens. things about Young Today is it's not one camp, it's not one program, it's the whole combined ecosystem of Young Today. We have just launched, with thanks to the Avichai Foundation, a wonderful camp leadership training program. That will bring 20 Hanichim from our camps, nominated by camp directors, to add five weeks of learning to their year course experience in how to be an effective Israel educator at camp. My experiences in Young Judea from being at the junior camp um, Midwest to TY um, and on Maz and now going on your course really connected to every place that I've been in my life. So this might be preparing us to be a camp counselor, but it's really just preparing us 
to be confident and caring, responsible adults. And in our year-round activities, we are seeing more and more communities calling us and asking us to share some of our experience and wisdom of what it means to create teams who lead for themselves. I tell you who to the summer, I was standing and watching the dancing. You know, 400 kids just dancing up a storm. But they're the kids that I know sitting around in a circle at national convention or on alternative winter break or in their local programs. What camp does is that it plants seeds for the upcoming year. In addition to the programmatic and educational innovations taking place at summer camps, there is significant investment in new facilities which allows growth, allows capacity building and allows programmatic innovation. Jewish identity and pluralism and Israel and peer leadership and activism. Right. It's incredible that we have been doing this for 70 years. To have a sort of real world experience. Compelling societal challenges and to wake up in the morning with a sense of meaning. And Young Judea has the opportunity after 110 years of reinventing ourselves with independence, figuring out where our roots lie, but growing the new tree to take full advantage of our aspirations.